A very important and interesting function in Excel is the sequence function. Believe me, it's used very rarely by people, but it can help you a lot in generating numbers in a particular sequence. How does the syntax go like? It goes like equal to sequence, parent start, rows. That is, how many rows of numbers do you need? Columns, if you need the numbers in multiple columns the start number and then the step. Step basically tells you by how much does the number increase every time. Let's look at a few examples now. So I'll do equal to sequence and I'll just put down the rows which is like 20. This would essentially mean that it will give me numbers 1 to 20 in a single column. Here you go. Now let's say I want numbers to be stepped by 2 in 20 rows and the number starting from 2 so it will be equal to sequence the number of rows is 20 comma the number of columns is 1 the start number is 2 and I want to step it by 2 bracket close and enter so here you go you can see that this particular sequence has been generated I'm sure that such sequences are needed regularly while working on large data or when you are actually having some dummy data to be put into excel sheets there it can be very very helpful to you now one more example equal to sequence the number of rows is 2 the number of columns is also 2 the start number is 2 and I step it with 2 bracket close and enter here you go and if you do the total number of rows to be 20 this is how it will look so every time it goes from one column to another it steps up by two and then when it goes to the next row it steps by two and so on so the next time whenever you are supposed to generate these sequences or numbers in a particular pattern you can surely go ahead and use the sequence function instead of typing all the numbers one by one and yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time a new video is uploaded.